Hey guys, Rhett Weaver here from Interland, Utah. Want to go over what we could possibly see from May 10th. We've been predicting that this is the day that interest rates are gonna start going lower. Inflation is always measured on a year over year basis. And so I kinda wanna break this down to you. What's interesting to me is how over the weekend we can get some readings or revisions of 2022. And we're gonna show you what those revisions did to 2022, which is affecting 2023 and what interest rates are gonna do for the rest of this year. Um, but very interesting that we can just magically go ahead and revise what happened in 2022 to basically set a precedence moving forward for interest rates. So let's kind of break this down. Hopefully you guys will follow me on this one and we've broken it down pretty easy for you. But to kind of understand interest rates, when inflation is low, you know, and it starts to go up, the only thing that we know is interest rates gotta go up as inflation rises to control inflation. As inflation comes down, that means interest rates are also going to come down. So if we take a look at this, this is July, August, and September of 2021. If we get, if we take a look at that, inflation was extremely low. July, August, and, and September of 2022, we understand that inflation was a lot higher, which means we knew that interest rates were gonna go up. And that's when we started to see that interest rates were taken off. There was also a prediction in November that interest rates were going to come back down. So if we remember this together, October, interest rates were really high, headed into November, and then we got that reading late November that basically made interest rates come back down. And, they, and, and really, everybody that was predicting this really nailed it. If we look at the first quarter of this year, so February of 2022 versus January, February, March of 2023, if you add all these numbers up, it's 1.4% versus 1.3%. Basically, everything really sat, sat stagnant as far as what was happening with inflation. There's From a year-over-year, -year, first-quarter perspective, nothing has really changed. So the question is, what's what does it look like moving forward? If you take a look at this, inflation, April, May, June of last year, the second quarter of last year, really took off. And if you can look at the inflation numbers from 2023, we understand that they're lower. So from a year over year perspective, it looks like, well, May and June are a lot higher. So here we go. Inflation is now lower this year. So it's expected that interest rates are going to get a little bit lower. But here's what ended up happening. If you take a look at this yellow line, the BLS, JP Morgan, everybody came out and they revised exactly what was going on on a year over year inflation reading. So what are we looking at here? This blue line is where it's supposed to be. This yellow line is what they did. So we were expecting in the month of May, when this reporting came out, that this inflation report from 2022 was a lot higher than now what they're going to release tomorrow. So now it means, you know, the difference between 2022 and 2023 really may have been pretty big. And now that number is going to get a little bit smaller. What they ended up doing is revising this towards the end of the year. So what, so they took it off right now and they ended up shoving it towards the end of the year. How do they do that? To be honest with you, no idea. Why they did that, no idea. What they are saying basically from here on out is interest rates, this is the starting point of rates getting lower. We hoped like in November, there was gonna be a huge difference and we were really gonna see a huge interest rate, You know, basically them starting to decrease by quite a bit. But what we will see from here on out is gradually they will start to decrease into the third and fourth quarter of this year. The hard part about this is this something that is very unexpected, something that nobody could foresee and something that a lot of people just are not happy about because we were looking forward to this May 10th uh, kind of restructure of what was going to happen and, and watch these interest rates really decline and take off from here. Now, we've got some really good stuff going on this week. We've got that CPI report, that inflation report that is going to come in lower than basically last year. So we do know that interest rates are gonna get a little bit better, just not as good as we were hoping. Moving forward from here on out, we should see that inflation really start to cool off and we should really start to see interest rates get better even into the end of the year. There is some things that I do wanna go over that's gonna give us a little bit of hope as, as well. We got the producer price index on Thursday, which should give us a really good reading as well. And we should see that bond friendly, meaning the interest rates are, should get a little bit better. What we're doing right here is we're sitting on a lot of support levels right now. As you can see, there's just a ton of lines on my graph here as far as what's happening with interest rates. And we've been breaking through them. We've been bouncing off of them quite a bit. As you can see, they're all starting to come together, which is a lot of levels of resistance to kind of break through for interest rates to get a little bit lower. If it's your first time here, green means interest rates are getting better or going lower. Red means interest rates are getting worse or going a little bit higher on, on the 30-year mark. 
So if we take a look at this, we broke above it earlier this, sorry, late last week. And now going into this week, we should see obviously some really good gains with interest rates and see if we can break through these barriers that we've had really for a, for a really, really, really long time. If we kind of take a look at a two year history and hopefully this makes sense to you guys, you can see basically these four or five different lines here when we crossed over, meaning we crossed over and interest rates really started to take off and go up, right? This is in 2021, moving into 2022. And if you take a look at it, this blue one's been so high that we haven't been able to reach it. Now it's in an area where we have a really good chance of getting above it or, or really getting above that blue line, which means once we can break that, once we can hold that, that means we should see going from that two-year swing where interest rates couldn't get above it, meaning interest rates only had to go higher. Now we should see interest rates break that and only start to trend out the other way, which means interest rates are going to get lower. Interest rates are always going to follow inflation. This is just something that we have to, to really take a look at. One of the key factors of tomorrow's report as well is going to be energy, meaning gas. If you remember from a little bit over a month ago, OPEC came out and basically stated that they were going to stop producing over a million barrels of oil per day. And so we've got to take a look at gas prices and see what's going to happen in the energy. And so pay attention to, to tomorrow's report. The core is how the government really takes a look at inflation. So you're going to have an overall report of CPI as far as an inflation report, and then they're going to st strip out basically food and energy, and the, the government's really going to take a look at that core report. And that's where we're probably going to see a little bit of gain with the government, that that should come down about a tenth of a percent, and we should see it be a little bit bond-friendly, meaning interest rates should get a little bit better. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Obviously, tomorrow, then Thursday, should be bond friendly, should help us out with interest rates, and this should continue a trend into the summer and kind of moving forward. I just don't believe from here on out we were going to see the gains like we were going to see until a little bit later in the third, maybe even fourth quarter of this year. And I know that they were predicting them kind of mid to late of the year to see them down in the fives. But due to that magical revision that kind of happened over the weekend, we will now probably not see that until a little bit later on. But we should see interest rates hold and continue to kind of get a little bit better from here on out.